Well, I hope you've had a good Saturday. It's been a beautiful day here. And I want to bring you another one of our daily devotions. And we're excited about the, what the Lord is doing in our lives and asking the Lord to continue to guide us and lead us. And I want you to go with me to Psalm 27. And I really have a thought that applies to where we are as a church and where many of us are as individuals. Um, we are living, of course, in Tennessee. And, and our state is beginning to reopen, as they would call it, in phases. And some restaurants are open, some businesses open, some churches now are deciding what they're going to do. And all those things bring a buzz of decisions and thought processes. But over the last few days, as I've been thinking and praying about our church and our family and things, what will we do and don't, won't do and all those type of things, if we're not careful, we can come over, overcome with that. But I want to read Psalm 27 and verse 10 and 11 to you. The Bible says this, when my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of my enemies. But I notice in the middle of this verse, in verse 20, or verse 11 of, of chapter 27, uh, the thought process is this, lead me in a plain path. And he says this, and I believe it's a prayer that we can pray, that God would lead us. And as I said to you, as a pastor of a church, we're praying and asking God to lead us about what we do and when we do those things. And no one can make all those decisions for you. But I want to remind you of a great principle that we talked about in one of our previous devotions. That is this, that God said he will not leave us comfortless. That he would bring along another comforter. And as he prayed for us in, in John 16 and John 17 about the comforter and taught us those things, he said he'll lead you. And so what I want you to realize is in the middle of this pandemic, the government can't give you all the right answers for yourself and for your family, your pastor, your preacher. None of those people can give you every detail of an answer that you need, but the Spirit of God and God's truth can. So what I want to challenge you with is this, to ask God to lead you in a plain path. And that's the prayer I'm praying for our church and the prayer I'm praying for you. Now, as far as where we are in the building, I'm gonna show you, uh, try to illustrate this truth. I'm standing here in front of the sound booth in the back corner and the back entrance. Now, if you look up here to my right, uh, you'll see a little uh, hole in the wall. And that is actually where the exit light goes. And there's actually a whole smoke evacuation system in here. But I wanna show you something. If we were to lose power or something to happen, this, this exit sign would show you to the corridor. And uh, this in the construction world is the corridor. Us uh, common folk call it a hallway. But all down through there, there's emergency lights, whether you go left or whether you go to your right. And as a matter of fact, we haven't done this yet, but even the outside of that ceiling grid will get caulked because they want to keep any smoke that might would happen in the building up there. That way everyone could see clearly to get to the exit and evacuate in case of, uh, case of some problem. And I want to say this, if we can think about exit and, and how to deal with a, 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 a plain path in a building, then know this, that the Spirit of God will lead you. I'm trusting you to trust Him and ask God to help you know what is the right step for you and your family. God bless you.